Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and in today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign, a campaign where we're making it artificially more difficult by using niche builds of meta items, less hit points and more improved enemies uh, with a better admin. So far it's going good. It's time for Operation Swarm King and uh, a raid on the advent train and there seems to be quite a bit of advent leadership here so that'll be interesting they have already gotten a few minor improvements with the dark um, events that we do have so eventually this is going to uh, be quite difficult for us whom are we going to take with us covered ops and rabbit unfortunately is tired frodo is back so yes we want to have Reckoner as the leader of this run. I hope we can level him a bit further. Sandman definitely makes sense in terms of spotting enemies out. And uh, Toxic could be the uh, step in. And then it's either Johnny Five as the Ranger. Might as well do that. Or alternatively sane as uh, the sharpshooter i think we're going with johnny five as the ranger which is a bit strange because he also has a face mask so toxic and him both have the, uh, that face mask but i'll eventually get uh get used to it okay cool so Let's prepare that run properly. Frodo here will take the med kit, good old assault rifle, and Reckoner will have, have the flashbang toxic, goes with a smoke grenade, the light machine gun. And Reckoner, to be honest, is a bit too red for me. We're always at the skirmishers is kind of grayish so that looks better which means johnny five can only take the nanoscale vest and our modified shotgun can we build any further items i think no we're still pretty behind the curve uh, but that's what i wanted so let's play with those basic items i know that the assault rifles have plus one damage uh, so do the sni uh, so do the snipers so there is an argument that could be made in essentially taking that old world assault rifle instead four to six same damage of course not the same up the same crit damage but I think it's almost better yeah let's go for let's go for that and just see how how well we're going uh, to go with that on the other hand if we, we need to uh, give someone a plus two movement speed and you might as well do that together with a shotgun yeah okay you can see i'm highly highly uh, i'm highly highly set on a certain uh, build already of course not we're trying to have some fun in this run so let's try some niche things soon we're going to get sparks i want to do that next all right i can already foresee that there is a chosen And luckily, we continue to have two concealed forces. So this is the train, that's the high ground. And I would like to use Sandman as the scout in this entire run. All the turrets are na nasty. I'll give him that.
25 is equally concealed so might as well just move in Well, guess what would be awesome if we could haywire and take one of uh, those Going haywire. mechanical units. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be fun. I love it when a plan works. And toxic. We're all staying out of range for now. Overwatch. Well, surprise, surprise. I just found out the mech is hacked. Did we also pull another? Oh, yeah, okay. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. And the turrets, right? No, the turrets did ignore us so f uh, do ignore us so far. Moving just a tiny bit over. Turrets no longer ignore us. And guess who is shredding them? Can't hit both, but I most certainly can hit one. Very good. Menace one five. Watch those supply crates. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover once the area is secure. I think we could start moving in a bit further. Oh, not sure if we can, if we should do that yet. But I think that on the other hand, there is not a lot of disadvantage. Let's set up the tower or that turret here. Could almost kill the other one with combat protocol and we quite frankly should potentially do that Tactical movement. moving into cover all right given the situation I think having that claymore here and destroying the tower is in order. Just want to get rid of both of them, to be honest. They are strong and they are heavily, heavily armored, so... Moving over, and thanks to combat protocol, this here should be a solid hit. Not a kill, but a solid hit. And this could be the kill. <sighs> could. It's the magic w uh, formula. to lose my cover but I th think that that it is advisable it's 
Oh, wow. Pretty nasty damage. The target is marked. Well, that's an interesting mimic beacon. Whom are we going? Yeah, let's get that Gatling trooper here. Didn't work, unfortunately. We can't just let them be there. Okay, so there is still a wall in the way. All right, moving up. Just as pull to get the advent officer towards us. Nice. That worked like a charm. I will always find you. Moving to position. Moving up and hopefully killing that advent officer. Target neutralized. My ammo's running low. Good. The frontliner will take. A protocol, make it less painful. I mean, we could be here, but that is a that's an, in itself an issue. We're soon going to flank those guys. So that's the setup. And essentially Johnny Five. I forgot about that Overwatch. Oh, it's my bad. Could have uh, known that better. You know, Comet Protocol really doesn't do a lot of uh, good here. Still one more round of hacking. And if they can keep the Gatling Gunner happy, then that is fine. Really, we gotta focus on this guy. The time for hiding is over. Double Overwatch, okay? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is going on? What? Three additional advents? And no one is tri triggering any Overwatch. Okay. Fantastic. This is shit. This is pure gold. Alright, we gotta deal with the overwatches. So this here is purely overwatch breaking. That was a 50-50 to fully kill him. So it would be wrong to say it was just about the overwatch. It wasn't. Got to deal with uh, the Gatling Trooper here. High percentage chance of actually killing him. One of many. 
Nice, and we're not even revealed. Okay, that was an important kill. Okay, let's just double check if... Yeah, we're in a good position there. Is no reason to leave this position at the moment. Other than dealing with this guy, of course. can't just move the idea now will be can we sneak ourselves kind of to that position or to that position this is an unless here it would be an option but it is a dangerous one as we are flankable this here would be an option but it is a dangerous one because we are very much flankable. I think though that this option here is less dangerous all things considered. And we qu can maybe even kill this guy via Johnny 5. Okay, so this should not trigger an overwatch. If we do it that way. Roger that. Nah, it shouldn't. I dis I disagree. It should not have triggered. Because I did not step through line of sight. Anyways, we're going to keep that action open. Now, we gotta deal with our flank over here. Unfortunately, can't fully see this guy, which is a shame. I was hoping we would be pulling to here, then killing him and then being able to flank this guy. Which in return forces us to do this move here. Standing in the open, that's not a good place to be. So eventually we will need to go for health cover over here, even though it is tempting to just flashbang them. Next round we got a grappling hook, so might as well position ourselves over here in full cover. And then next round grapple up and use the high ground to our advantage. Any other grappling target over here? Yes, but mm. this here would potentially be too aggressive. Yes, 50-50 on that trooper. Let's try it. Okay. Was good. Down to three. We can no longer hide. That is a problem. Not sure why he could spot us out. What kind of. Oh wow. And John just got one shot. That can happen. What kind of enemy is uh, this here? Advent Trooper, but he can easily see even concealed units that doesn't make any sense Your will 
I'll join you soon. I will need more ammo. Repositioning. How is that triggering? Oh my gosh. ABA has changed so much. I feel let down. I actually feel pretty much let down. Alright, high ground bonus. That is a highly aggressive, uh, highly aggressive kind of uh, a play style overall. If they are one-shotting us and we are also one-shotting them, that's the first time since we installed ABA that I felt the game mechanics were a bit different, other than the losses, of course. Um, seeing a Reaper. Uh, from a flanking position oh, it just doesn't make any sense and he wasn't walking right next to him there was plenty of space between it then secondly um, the um, the uh, grapple hook in the normal game i'm pretty sure is not triggering an um, overwatch shots so that was strange as well and yeah unfortunately uh, the eventual loss of someone will be a part of this run that's the lack of hit points right there take that photo very nice so johnny five good job rest in peace brother toxic got a promotion and yeah sandman got unfortunately wounded so did Reckoner. So pretty nasty run overall, but I already mentioned that it will be difficult. Repeater is banned, so that doesn't offer us anything, and we did not get intel either. Hmm. Not optimal. Not optimal. It is fine still, and we're soon going to get the upgrade of the armor. But boy oh boy. Uh, let's get that Avengers scientist. Gotta catch up with the research curve. Resistance communication. And there's the facility that now gives us even more. I think we're fine. Well, all of that is good. No need to upgrade anything. Commander, and eventually we will soon need to go out that would deal a and, blow to their and do the so black side facility. We now got predator armor. Commander. And yeah. Let's get approved cannons as well. I don't know why we're getting that many research breakthroughs. And some of them are actually quite helpful as well. But it just gets us further and further behind the research curve. We finally have gotten some more hit points. So with the new armor... We got six hit points. Well, that is not a lot. And in some cases, improvements of the existing alien tech used during Oh, well, that is without the armor, right? The more common the stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components to work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid system. Eight plus four. Oh, uh, she is... Yeah, she would be at ten. Okay, good. Well, I was already worried... No, 10 hit points, uh, that will allow us to at least withstand one blow for now. I've got a we could definitely you. use an infirmary. Invasion was one thing. But we can also use proving grounds, and yet, I haven't even started the research for that. Well, 
But you're really starting to get on the Elder's nerves. And they're just not going to let this go. Fantastic. So we got ourselves 250 income. That is good. Uh, mm, the Assassin can now summon mechanical units. That's not so good. And he will potentially train, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Alloy paddings are bad. Bending reed is okay. Just gotta make sure that we're not dealing with them that often. This one here is useless now because we're never fully concealed anymore. And Intel could be interesting because we want to expand. Uh, hence, let's go for some extra Intel rewards. Got another scientist right there. And some more Intel rewards. I mean, overall, we're fine with the intel. I guess we could just start uh, going for it. It'll be around 60 intel. Maybe a bit less. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. All right, there is the extra mission, and there is 118 intel, just what we were looking for, plus a scientist. That extraction of the VIP will be important for us as, we're, as we want to expand, and having South America available would be great. Uh, the intel would almost be enough to do that, but yeah, with that intel together, we definitely could expand, so... Once the game realizes we could use some more intel and gives us exactly that, scientists, that uh, is fine. And yet again, I am greedy and researching every single, uh, every single upgrade. Alien biotech soon needs to happen and magnetic weapons, to be honest, needs to happen as well. We could have some fun with experimental weapons as well. Uh, that would give us quite a bit of options and of course this here could be intel but yeah we better focus on getting weapon upgrades and getting into the mid game now so alien machinery is soon cleared that means even more supplies we're good we're good on alloys and delirium that is fine and yeah soon we need the weapon upgrades good Anyways, this brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next run. Bye-bye.